putting this together, manufacturing the steel, making the block. Um, in some cases, you would see even the old Sears Roebuck uh, concrete block that people would, if you wanted a concrete block home, you mix the concrete up and put it in a mold and, and they don't hold up so well. But nonetheless, they put a lot of effort into it. They wanted to, they wanted to build something. Here, you know, this is a very cliche photo. I've seen it multiple times of all these people working together, of different trades, building some type of cathedral, I don't know, some medieval type of trades work going on, building beautiful structures. But this is, again, you know, things that, can, that, that are built, nobody wants to tear down. And even when they were destroyed in, in ancient times, they, these, these buildings were recycled because of the lime mortars, or the softer materials that can be reused, because quarrying that stone is a lot harder, and, and transporting is a lot harder than, oh, okay, there goes a, already a rubble pile, let's pick it up and reuse it again. Um, if not, you end up with modern buildings, they end up in landfills, because like I had mentioned before, with the composite walls, these concrete blocks, all the metal and all the plastic inside these walls and then the bricks. You can't pull apart these bricks and reuse them like what would have been used maybe, after, say, in, in Europe and London after World War II during this, uh, the destruction uh, uh, of Nazis. So they were able to reclaim these materials and sort the bricks rather than make new ones and, and rebuild their, their urban landscape as they, as they saw fit and had, as they remembered it. Because putting, putting things in a landfill does not really do anybody any good, uh, except, I guess, the people hauling it away that are, that are getting paid. So here, you know, this is a picture of Lancaster Central Market. I had actually lived here for two years going to school at Thaddeus Stevens, as I mentioned in the beginning of the presentation, and I absolutely love this place. There is one thing that I've seen in Lancaster that oh, it, it's very hard to find. You guys are lucky to have it, and that is this community meeting place, of, and, and what binds most of us here, um, I mean, yeah, we might be here for the food or the presentation, but it is food. We all eat. We all have this desire, and going to uh, trade trade goods, uh, that, that's highly important in, 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 a, in a, a definitely a community that's moving t back towards this, um, this more city environment that people are actually leaving the suburbs. And it gives a place, a, a sense of belonging that... This place has been here, it's working, you, you see people, you, you, you grow attachments to them. You, again, you, it kind of gives you a warm feeling, of, of, to some degree, at least. I, I, I know I get that, dealing with people, rather than a cold, omnipresence of a mall. I can't stand being in a mall. Uh, there's too much going on, and it's a bunch of stuff I, don't, I would rather not use. And it can't be outside, there's no flow, because these older buildings have have the significance to them. Um, even as, we, as we're as we here, this is much better. I'd rather be in this room right here than a presentation room in an office building because we have natural light passing through, airflow, the things that, that certainly Central Market and other cultural resources that have, uh, have some historical significance have to offer. You know, you also have um, a unique architecture that, that nobody's going to rebuild this building. It's going to, if they try to rebuild this building, it would cost so much money uh, just because the amount of labor and, and passion and, and level of craftsmanship that is very difficult to find. It's not that it's actually difficult to find, it's just hard to pay for.